Solex Nation. This is the last time we're going to see you for a couple of weeks. We actually are not having a call next week in um, in preparation for Christmas and Kwanzaa and spending time with our families and just getting ready for that uh, those special holidays. Um, so take the week off yeah. next this this next week. Enjoy it. Hang out with your friends, your family, and uh, you know. We'll take that week off too. <laughs> we do have a couple of announcements. Um, the first, did you see our post about free shipping? Yes. We announced yep. last week, if you wanted to receive any items um, from Solex in time for Christmas, if you're in the continental United States, that those orders need to be per, uh, put in by the 19th. Yep. Going along with that, we have free shipping until the 19th. And what's the code for that? Free ship. 96. So all orders, 96 or more, Yes. you're going to get free shipping on $96 or more. You do need to put that code in though to receive yes, the free shipping. Yeah, please do that. Do you want to tell them about what else we have in the back office? Yes. Okay. So we twisted some arms. We talked about light wave glasses. We have them back in the back office. So if you've been waiting for those to be there, uh, they're ready. They're, they're in the they're back there. office as of tonight. So so go get your hands on some lightweight glasses that we have in stock. So Awesome. Okay, last week on our call, we had a really good question. It actually came in from Leslie Ray mm -hmm. on Facebook and just understanding the inner voice reports. And so we put on a little quiz on Facebook. Yeah. And that was really fun. So fun. To see you all answer that. Yeah. But just to kind of put the knowledge in action, right? Um, so we said that anybody who answered that um, quiz correctly would be put in a drawing for some X by Solex. Okay, so here's the trouble. This is like in elementary school. If you copied off your neighbor <laughs> and they had the wrong answer, you're probably not in here. <laughs> you know, you're going to get wrong. We're not going to kick you out of school. <laughs> But you certainly failed this contest. Pretty sure everyone had the same answer. Yeah, I think I actually think <laughs> so. we ended up throwing everybody in. Yeah. Everybody copied off that first person who got it right. No, it just confirmed. We yes, just confirmed just that we got it right, right? Yes. Good. So, okay, let's draw for someone to receive X by Solex, and this will be for a month. Um, I know we're doing three of them. Or are we? Are we doing one of them? X by Solex. I don't think we said. I thought we said three. Okay, we're, we're doing, doing three. three. We're doing of course, three. we're doing three. Oh, well, this is a blank. <laughs> no. Suzanne Christofferson, congratulations, X by Solex, coming to you. All right, your turn. Oh, okay. Oh, do you want me to do all three? I, I mean, for time's three. sake. Let's see. Kathy Clisaurus. Kathy Clisaurus, congratulations, Kathy. And then the last one is Marissa Schiffman Webb. Congratulations, X by Solex is coming to you. Okay, we will, we will get we those, those shipped out names. to you tomorrow. All right. Um, last, we, uh, we're, we're just moving right along today. Yep. We're going to go into our top and rollers, uh, and that's for the week of December 6th through, through the, the 12th. 12th. Good. So we do have a tie. Surprise, surprise for second place. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> so All let's right. talk about those. All right, you kick it off. Okay. Uh, tie for second place. First person, Lindsay Little. And then we have Paige Wheeler. And then Nyla Gilliam. Caitlin Carlson. And Scott Barber. And then our first place winner, drum roll. <laughs> Same as last week, two weeks in a row, Dr. Alex Lloyd, congratulations. Well done. You were the first place for the most enrollments, top two enrollments. Two weeks in a row. Good job. All well of done. you, though, well done. You're yeah. all working so hard, and uh, we just we see your efforts, and it's yeah. nice to see. Well, we have a lot going on in this call tonight, we so do. let's jump into we're it. We're going to hear from Kai next, okay. and then we'll hear from Lauren. All right. Okay, everyone, as promised last week, I am going to go through a few uh, research studies about psyllium and present to you just a summary of a massive amount of information that's out there. You guys, there has been a ton of clinical work done on psyllium in particular. And this research is the foundational reason why psyllium is the flagship ingredient in X by Solex. We wanted to, to make it such a critical part because there's such a strength behind it that you and I can take advantage of. When we think about psyllium, we want to understand the basics of what it is. It is a soluble fiber. That means that it can absorb water and that's where we begin to get the benefits. Let me start with a meta-analysis that I want to present to you. A meta-analysis is when a, a set of researchers take a whole bunch of clinical work, bring it all together, and present the common results 
of all of this research study. So the meta-analysis that I want to present to you right now comes from 24 different clinical research studies on psyllium with more than 1,500 participants. That's a lot of people and that's a lot of clinical work with a lot of money spent behind it. And the focus is on psyllium. In that work, I want to present to you the results um, in summary of what they found. They found that there is a direct and a significant benefit on the cholesterol levels of the body when you add psyllium as a dietary fiber to your health regimen. Well, what sort of benefits do we get? They found in these 24 different clinicals a, a 6 to 24% reduction in LDL cholesterol. They found a 2 to 20% reduction in total cholesterol. That, you guys, is a lot of benefit, and that is for the everyday user, you and me, not changing their diets, but just adding psyllium to what they were taking. There was also a similar meta-analysis uh, done on the benefits of psyllium on glucose and insulin levels. What they found in that work was that there is a 28% reduction in the glycemic control within the body, meaning we reduce the sugar in our body, uh, or sugar in our system. Now, we all need glucose to function, and our brains need it, and various parts of the body need it. But we don't need too much of it. And so we want to make sure we have the right amount. And what this found was that reduction helped bring the body into balance. There was also a 24% reduction in the insulin response to food intake. That again also is a significant balance into the chemical reactions that take place. We do need that reaction, but we don't need to overuse it or overreact the insulin response to the food that we take into our bodies. In that study as well, just kind of as an added note, we saw an 8% reduction in the LDL cholesterol being reduced in those subjects that were tested in those meta-analysis as well. Now, two leading researchers in psyllium who've done a great body of work focused a lot of their clinical work on, on the results and benefits of psyllium and various ways it can be used within the, with the body system. I want to talk a little bit about the psyllium uh, benefits within the body and how it helps with signaling between the small intestine and the stomach. When we eat food, we all know that we ingest it, it goes to the stomach, and then it makes its way into the small intestine. Well, between the small intestine, uh, excuse me, between the stomach and the small intestine, there is a gateway called the pylorus. This gateway tells the stomach or opens up when it receives signals to send more food into the small intestine. Now, before I get into too much detail about this signaling, I'm going to teach you the word of the day. Okay, the word of the day is chyme. Chyme is the digestive liquid that makes its way into the small intestines. This state is needed because it's in the small intestines where all of that nutrient absorption takes place, where the body makes most use of the food that you and I eat. Well, when that liquid is very thin, or what's called a low, a low viscosity, it passes through the small intestine very quickly. One of the things we want to do is thicken it up. We want to make it pass through the small intestine a little bit slower. There's several benefits to this, but let me mention two. One is so that it slows the process of the nutrient breakdown, meaning you're going to get the most out of the food that you eat. In the small intestine, if it slows down, there's more time to break down those ingredients, that nutrition, and then be absorbed into the bloodstream. The other benefit and this is where the weight loss benefit comes into play. The signaling takes place, meaning as nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine, a signal is sent through the neuro neurological system to the pylorus, this gateway, saying, hey, stomach, send more food into the small intestine. Or, hey, stomach, no, there's plenty going on there. Let's not send any more food. Well, what's your and my experience about when that takes place? Well. When the gateway stops, keeps the food in the stomach because there's plenty of food in the small intestine, 
you and I don't feel very hungry. Have you ever had that experience where you've eaten food and immediately after you feel hungry again? Well, typically that means you have a, a thin chime, a low viscosity liquid going through. It's passing through your small intestine so fast that there's not enough time for it to signal to say, hey, we got enough here. No, it's saying, nope, send more food from the stomach into the small intestine. So when we add psyllium to our diets as the digestive, as the dietary fiber, the viscosity of the chyme changes. The liquid, the digestive liquid in our small intestine thickens, slows down the nutrient absorption process, and then sends the signal to that gateway to say, okay, we got enough, meaning you and I feel full. We've eaten food, it's taken time to process that food, we feel full, we don't eat as much. That is where, in other studies, they then found the benefit from this is weight loss. One of the benefits of this is weight loss. We, they continue to find in those clinical studies the benefits of lower cholesterol and glycemic control. But the weight loss benefit came to the tune of over seven pounds in, in subjects who took psyllium over other dietary fibers and the control subjects, psyllium performed by far the best by more than double in weight loss. Meaning the next best thing was actually the control group and they lost less than half the weight over the six month period of that study. So there is direct evidence that by adding psyllium to your diet and that signaling process is more effective, you and I lose weight because we don't eat as much because we also maximize the benefits of the nutrients we are eating and taking into our system. You guys, I hope that this is helpful. I hope that this is beneficial and that you've learned a few things about why we've added psyllium as the, this flagship ingredient in X by Solex. It's important to us. In fact, I akin it to like the vitamin C of nutrition, psyllium as far as the digestive tract. Now, I know there's plenty of you that will say, whoa, Kai, don't go to vitamin C, that's way too high of a level. Well, it does have a significant and strong impact, and let me leave you with this. The FDA claim that can be made regarding psyllium. In the Code of Federal Regulations, Title 21, you can make the claim because of those cholesterol-lowering benefits and the impact of that on cardiovascular health that you can say that the risk of cardiovascular health is reduced when you consume psyllium into your diet. So with that, everybody, I hope that this prepares you for the new year. I know that many of us have eaten too much during the holiday season. We probably are gonna eat a little bit more as we get into New Year's. That digestive tract needs to get cleaned up as we set our goals for the new year, so this is a great way to do it. Add X as part of your diet, add psyllium, period, wherever you can get it in a good form. By doing so, you reap the benefits of these clinicals after clinicals after clinicals and studies after studies after studies. I hope that you will choose to reap the benefits of such an important ingredient that our system needs. Thanks everyone. Hello everyone, we're back again and uh, this one is about body systems this time. We now we introduced body systems to you back at Day of Discovery, but it wasn't completely finished and so it was just in the preview mode. Well now we're in the full, it is finished mode. And so uh, I'm going to address a couple questions and then we're going to go through um, each one of the reports real briefly so you get familiar. Here's the thing, as soon as the call is done today, refresh your program. Go into your uh, body system. You'll see it no longer says preview, and it's the full thing. So what does that actually mean? And so here, let me address a couple of the questions that are coming about body systems first. First question is, why do we have body systems? And that's a good, valid question, because you've got everything in vitals and comprehensive already. But, <clears throat> and vitals and comprehensive should always be used in whenever you're setting up your your first uh, profiles and your first clients, your clients' first profiles, um, all body systems is is a way to quickly 
and f more focusedly get to a specific issue, like your circulation or your lymphatic or your endocrine systems. Um, to go in and set up, let's just say circulation in vitals and comprehensive, to do the same thing body systems will do. Just in there, you'd have to go in and set up over 600 uh, items to scan. And so going into your vitals, selecting all of those, scanning those, optimizing those, then going into comprehensive and selecting all the, the categories that have anything to do with circulation, selecting those, scanning those, and optimizing those. The amount of time that would take for you to do and the likelihood of you missing some of those or putting in things that didn't really, um, weren't really focused to that, say, circulation, uh, is a big time killer. Here, you just select it and all of those things are pre-selected for you. It goes through and does the scan and the optimization, uh, optimization so they're ready to do the optimization. And then it gives you a nice clean report. Now this is the part that you're gonna see uh, when you go into your reports tonight. Instead of seeing that kind of an Excel type format of, your, of all the things listed, you're gonna have a nice report like we showed at uh, Day of Discovery, similar to your inner voice reports, where you've got some nice graphics that are uh, nice to look at, uh, a cover page that is informative, uh, and then it gets down to the, uh, the results of the report. And it still gives you the information whether it's acute or chronic, so that's still there. But it puts it in a way that I think you're going to find is easier to follow, easier to understand, and therefore people are going to be able to get more out of that scan and their report. So that's why we did the body systems. You have 13 body systems. Now, in the future, there will be uh, a few more categories open or added to the body systems, but they may be set for only uh, medical practitioners that uh, can utilize those. But like we've said in the past, AO scan will never, ever be finished, and therefore body systems may never be finished either. We'll continue to tweak it as we learn more from the data that we get back from all of the scans. So <clears throat> that's... The first question. Um, the second question is, is why the 13? Well, the 13, those are the key systems of the body. Almost everything that you can uh, imagine that needs to be scanned is comprised in those 13 body systems. So when would you use them? That's the third question. Um, so my recommendation would be when you initially scan yourself <clears throat> or a client or somebody, I would go in and do the full inner voice. I would go in and do the full vitals. Do your intelligent, combined, uh, comprehensive. And I'd do that for probably three scans in a row. A couple reasons for that. Help the system, train the system to understand you or your client's specific uh, uh, ways that it responds to this type of uh, stimulus. Get uh, all of that going in your scan so that <clears throat> you're better able to utilize the, uh, the body systems when you've done those first three scans. Then after those three scans, you're going to find, okay, we have issues with circulation. Or there's maybe uh, frequency imbalances in the endocrine system or et cetera. You fill in the blank. Now when you go in to scan yourself or a, or a client, you can focus, well, let's just focus on your circulation. Or let's focus on your, your uh, endocrine or your lymphatics. And you can kind of zero in. And after doing body systems a few times, <clears throat> you're going to find areas where you may want to go back on the next scan and focus in just on the comprehensive or just on the vitals in an area that just seems to be really stubborn. It's not moving. So remember, body systems is there to complement what you already have, to make your scans move more smooth and more uh, fluid. So that's when and how you'd use them. For myself, I know I've had circulation issues, and so I do circulation almost three times a week. Sometimes I'll just do a vitals or I'll do a comprehensive or sometimes, some days all I have time for uh, that I make time for is my voice, but I do my voice every day. Use these scans 
and use that information to educate yourself on how to make your life better. Change your diet. Change the way you talk to yourself. Really important, that one. Ever stand in the mirror and just tell yourself how nice you are and how good you are? Uh, that is so important, guys. We are our own worst critics, our own worst enemies. You know, our brain, our subconscious doesn't know the difference when we are being critical to ourselves, whatever, it just takes it. So if we start to be critical to ourselves, our subconscious believes that. So what we wanna do is make it to where we're talking to ourselves the way we'd want somebody to talk to us. You know, we wanna build ourselves up and build other people up so that we heal. So the whole purpose of AOScan, the whole purpose of these reports <clears throat> is to educate us on how to be better how to change what we need to change to have a more fulfilling life. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the reports. Okay, so let's go through the, uh, the, the actual systems. So you have, um, you have your uh, circulations at the top one. So let's just go to that one there. So you'll see it here on the screen. So your first page, it comes up, it has some graphics. It has uh, the name of the individual and the time and the date that the, uh, the scan was performed. The next page goes in about that system, it gives you a little bit of information. Now again, <clears throat> when you're doing this for yourself, you're gonna read that the first one or two times and then you know that. But for your clients, this is really good information for them. Helps them see it, visualize it, and understand it better. The next page is the page is what, what you had before in the Excel uh, format but with, and as you can see on the screen, circulatory body, circulatory vitals, circulatory causes, emotional causes, and ways to improve. And it will tell you on each one of those items whether it's an acute or a chronic issue. And the thing that's important to remember when you read these reports, the top one is the one that is the highest priority. The bottom one is the lowest. So remember, not only are you seeing acute and chronic, you're seeing it in list or in order of um, priority. The one that you need to pay the most attention to would always be the one on the top. Now, if you'll look <clears throat> on this port, uh, report, and this leads me into another question, not really so much about the body systems, but one that comes up a lot, and we've talked about it. Go down to the, the bottom of this uh, page here. It says, ways to improve your circulatory frequency statistics. Very first one, quit smoking. Now, this is my report. I've never smoked a day in my life, not even once, never smoked. Now, why would that come up and be priority number one for me? Why does it come up for you? Well, there's a couple reasons, so let me go through that. <clears throat> Out here where we've been, this year has been really a bad year for pollutants from the fires that have come through from California and here in Utah. And so that, in, that uh, toxic is uh, is in the air that we've been breathing. We've had um, an inversion where we've kept the pollution in down where we're breathing all the time. And so this adds to that. The system doesn't differentiate between smoke from a cigarette or from marijuana or from the exhaust off, the, off, a, off a car or smoke in the air or other pollutants. And so it comes up, quit smoking. This is an area where we acknowledge we can fix and improve over time when we get enough data to where we can separate out. So maybe it would in the future say uh, wear a mask or other types of things. But right now it just says there's these toxins in the system. Now that's one. The other one is if in your vitals, so if you see in one of your things that says quit smoking, go back to your vitals and, and look in to where it says nicotine. Is nicotine showing? Now nicotine, again, nicotine shows up on mine a lot. <clears throat> Never smoked. But I'm around people who have smoked or do smoke. But more commonly is if you eat nightshade plants, they have nicotine in them. But their level of nicotine and their the composition of the nicotine is not damaging to our system like nicotine from a cigarette. So sometimes that will trigger that response, quit smoking, because we've got the nicotine uh, markers showing up. 
again, these are things over time we're going to be able to fine tune some of that out. So when you see things like quit smoking and you don't smoke or other things that don't make sense, drink less alcohol, well, you don't drink alcohol. Well, if you eat lots of sugars, you've got a little Jack Daniels stu uh, distillery going on in your gut because it's creating it. Alcohol converts to sugar. So <clears throat> there's a lot of things that we can pay attention to. But again, remember, the AO scan is here to teach you, to educate you. It is not to diagnose you. I don't smoke. So you can say, oh, this thing doesn't make any sense. It's not real. Or I drink less alcohol. Well, I don't drink any alcohol. So I made another mistake. Didn't make any mistake. Go back and look at your reports and find where those things, do I eat a lot of sugars? Do I have a lot of triglycerides? Do I eat a lot of nightshades? Am I around people or in environments where there's a lot of toxic things in the air? All of these things contribute to a frequency imbalance in our system. Does that make sense? I hope so. One thing that we are going to do and try to have it ready by the first of the year is a frequently asked questions. And these that I've just talked about are fall into that category. So that when you have these types of things or some of your clients have some of these issues, there's a go-to place to figure out what that is. Okay, so enjoy the body systems. I look forward to your comments and your, and your feedback. Go through those reports, look at them, do your own scan today, look at your reports, go through them, let us know what you think. And uh, again, we won't be talking to you next week, so have a Merry Christmas. Be safe out there. Take care. Well, Lauren, it's been a great 2021. It has we, been a we've great 2021. Had, we've had a wonderful, tons of, of things done, and I just want to put a plug in. We won't have a call next week. You mentioned that. Uh, but the week after, we're actually going to do a recap video. That'll be off. That'll be fun. Yeah, That'll we're going to have fun. all of our updates. Maybe a few bloopers. We've Maybe had a few of those. We, we've made a few bloopers. <laughs> more than I'd like to admit. Yeah, yeah. And, and more than that were recorded. <laughs> Everyone, we hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Ha Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. We hope you have a wonderful new year. Join us uh, in a couple weeks for our recap video. Yep. Uh, past that, I just want to put a plug in. Remember the 19th Continental United States. Free ship 96 for orders $96 or more, and you'll get free shipping uh, between here and there. But past that, that's a gift for everybody. Um, beyond that, we hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your year. And thanks for being part of the AO family for the whole year. It's been awesome. Yeah, we love you. Thanks, guys. <laughs>